What is different between git stash clear, git stash drop? How many types of repositories do we have? So once you deleted, unfortunately one of your team member has deleted the branch. So what are the plugins you have installed so far in the chain? So would you please introduce yourself? Good uh, afternoon sir. First of all, uh, thanks for giving me this wonderful opportunity to introduce myself. My name is Ravdeja sir. I am from Kaganada. I completed my graduation in, in the stream of uh, BSc Chemistry from Dr. B.R. Ambedkar University. Uh, my father is an uh, agricultural level and my mother is homemaker. That's so it's, let's start? Yes sir. Okay. What is different between git stash clear and git stash drop? Git stash clear, it, uh, it clears the data from the particular uh, file and the git drop is uh, deletes that uh, uh, entire file. Entire file or uh, the stash? IDs. And as stash IDs. IDs. Yes. Okay, that's fine. So, what is different between uh, fetch versus pull? Difference between fetch and pull? Yes, sir. Fetch, it can work. Uh, we can use that uh, to pull data from remote to local repository, but that data will not be visible to us. Pull is, uh, it shows the data also. So, a revert and reset? Git revert, uh, we can use that git revert is to the particular commits, whatever that we deleted, that uh, commits will uh, we can see in, uh, on new commit ID. Git reset we can use to unstages the file. Perfect. Next part is how many types of repositories do we have? Local repository and remote repository. No, no, no. In in a GitHub there are two types of repositories, right? How do you secure your branches? How do you secure your branches? You can secure my branch uh, by using the pull request. Pull request yes. okay. By using the pull request, we can secure. What is pull request? Pull request, uh, we need to use that uh, that particular data. We need to uh, transfer from one branch to another branch. In between, that we need to get access from the uh, third person. Then we can use the pull request. So once you deleted, unfortunately, one of your team member has deleted the branch. So how do you recover the deleted branch? I can use uh, git reflog uh, command to recover my branch, whatever that uh, my employee deleted. Uh, for that, we can use that command git reflog. Then we can see that head uh, head numbers. Uh, after that, we can I can use that command uh, git checkout space hyphen b branch name and that head number. So have you worked with uh, Visual Studio? Sir, I worked it, sir, but uh, I didn't have that much of uh, knowledge. Okay, fine. So, um, what is Maven? Why we use that? Maven is uh, one of the build tools, sir. Mm -hmm. We can use that uh, Maven to build and test, deploy the code, automate. Code automate. Yes. Yes. Fine. So, what are the plugins you have installed so far in the Jenkins? I used to. Uh, I was installed plugins for the Java. JDK, JDK plugin and I installed plugins for Maven, config, uh, config file explorer and Maven integration. I installed a uh, plugin for Sonar Cube, that's Sonar Scanner and for Tomcat I installed for uh, deploy to container. Perfect. Okay. So what are the difference between Polysium, Webhook and Periodical Free? In Polysium, we can schedule the uh, time to uh, build the file, build the data. Uh, whatever the time we given, then in that time only that uh, job will uh, build. In Polysium, whenever the data is changed, whenever the code is changed in GitHub, for that data, whatever the time we are scheduled, in that time only that will build. Before that, uh, the, we cannot build that. Okay. In Webhook, uh, whenever that uh, developer change the code automatically that uh, file uh, that code will be built automatically okay perfect so could you please write sample docker uh, sample sample jenkins file jenkins file sample jenkins file this is a uh, pipeline okay, yes sure. jenkins pipeline sure sir. i wrote uh, only for that uh, mm. git Explain me the status. Okay, sir. All the steps. Okay, sir. First, first of all, we need to. We are using pipeline, sir. That's why we are given this uh, command to pipeline, and we need to uh, 
we have to uh, all the data inside the pipeline so we are here, here given open bracket and that isn't any if if you are not given isn't any we need to uh, mention particular uh, uh, stage after that stages whatever the stages we have that uh, it comes under the stages okay after that first stage okay first stage whatever that we are taking that stage we need to mention inside the stage open bracket okay after that we need to write the steps yes. after that uh, we need to take a path from the pipeline syntax pipeline syntax yes. okay after that we need to check all the brackets are closed uh, perfectly uh, closed or not okay if you are if you are not uh, given any uh, bracket uh, that code will be failed failed thing is um, have what are the issues how many projects you have completed so far uh, till now i, I I have submitted only one project, sir. Okay. Uh, what are the issues you have faced? I faced project. Uh, I faced the issue uh, whenever I deployed to Tomcat. Okay. Then I faced uh, a problem, sir. What are the, how you? What is the problem? How you overcome that problem? Uh, whenever I got a problem, then I was uh, uh, I was tried uh, uh, two or three times uh, myself. After that, I went to Google and uh, and I searched for that. Uh, whatever the issue what i am having that i was uh, mentioned in google uh, search field. then it given uh, one small uh, comments okay then like that i rectified sir so i have explained you second project and uh, yesterday i have already told you the third project right? yes sir so i request you to please work on that yes sir uh, are you comfortable with docker yes sir comfortable sir but uh, okay. I, I need to improve myself sir Okay. Whatever that you said, that is uh, excellent, sir. Okay. I need to give some present. Okay. Uh, are you okay on the until this part? So you want to yeah. go with the the dogger from the next uh, interview? Yes, yeah, sure, sir. Yes, sure, sir. So right now you can I ask the dogger questions, or you want to go with the next part? Uh, yes, yeah, sir. You can ask, sir. If so I know. what is the command to uh, remove all the dogger containers in one single command? Uh, dogger remove space hyphen. I. Okay, I'm asking containers. Okay. All containers at once. Once. Uh, iPhone. Yeah. Who knows? Okay. And difference between CMD and uh, entry point. Yes, sir, entry point. Uh, it executed inside the container, sir. Uh, CMD uh, is an uh, default. Uh, Delete. Override. Override. No, it's not going to be up. Override. It's going to be upend. CMD can be override. Okay. But if you give CMD LSI for A, when container is running, if you give LSI for L, it is not going to give LSI for A. It is going to give the LSI for L. Override. Okay. Yes. It is going to be upend. Yes. But when coming to the entry point, it is going to be upend. Are you going to be upend? Yes. That is what? Yes, it is.